Hello. I recently watched an episode of Ancient Aliens. Um, sometimes they really do have some really good content. And what I was drawn to was some of the facts of the sun, I mean the moon. And the moon has always been one of those mysterious objects. And I won't get into what the program was about. However, I would really recommend uh, you to watch it. You will find why many of us have known for quite for decades that the moon is in fact a hollow sphere. And for all you guys out there and ladies, um, here's the deal. Stop and think about this. If you had an object the size of the moon, as close to the earth as it was, the mass of that object alone would put the earth into a tailspin. Um, there is no other planet in our solar system or others that they have actually been able to photograph that have a satellite the size of our moon. So it, it has to be hollow, and, we've, and they've known that since uh, way back in Apollo 15. So anyway, my discussion today is, why is it we do not see more shots from the International Space Station of both the moon and the real sun. And I will go through a series of photos on here to explain why something is afoot. So this picture shows a picture of the International Space Station against the moon. Good. That's, you know, nothing wrong with that. There is the International Space Station. Of course, it's always growing and getting bigger. Well, that's a good picture of it. There is a picture of the moon from the International Space Station, however, with a caveat. That is a picture from well over six years ago. I haven't been able to find anything within the last three years of any recent photograph of the moon from the ISS, and it gets better. So this is a unique shot. I want you to see this for several reasons. Number one, look at the star field. Look how the background is illuminated with countless stars. And look at whether this is the moon or the sun. I'm assuming possibly the sun, maybe the real sun, I don't know, uh, and maybe it's the moon. What we do know is that, by the way, look at the red hue above the earth back here, and then I want you to see this, okay? Wouldn't you say that that's what you would expect to see if you were up in outer space? Uh, in this case, about 200 and, what is the uh, space station? About 220 miles above the Earth, something like that. So there you go. But it gets interesting. Oh, my goodness, look at here. Here's another shot from the International Space Station. We're going to say that that is the sun, but I really want you to pay attention, and I will expand this. Look at this, folks. Look at the density, again, of the whole background, the star fields. I mean, seriously, that's what you would expect to see. Look at this. This is lightning. This is the atmosphere. This is what you would expect to see. Now, I found this picture, I thought, interesting um, because to me, it represents a what the real sun would look like. But here again, 
the mystery begins because we do not have any of the star field. But that's fine. Let's just say that that's just All right, I found this picture interesting. This is obviously when we used to have a space fleet of which we no longer. Every American should send a letter to the White House, to their senators and their congressmen and tell them to get off their butts and get the space fleet back up. Anyway, we continue. So here's a picture of the moon. Um, kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly what it is that we're seeing, but I'm assuming that this is the moon. Okay. Very bright, isn't it? Let's continue. Another picture of the moon from the ISS. Okay. Here is a picture of the ISS, and I don't know what satellite took this picture or who took this picture. But there it is. Looks like it's almost traversing the moon, doesn't it? Um, that couldn't be right. How could the space station be circling? No, it's not. It's not. I'm sure that that had to be faked. Or is it? Anyway, we continue. Um, an interesting shot from supposedly the ISS. Another interesting shot, this one is here. Really see how you can really see the defined um, layers of the atmosphere. And this is our jet stream, by the way. But look at the clarity of the moon. Now, what's very interesting is that from, if and you can tell that this was taken from the space station. You can see how they're pointing the camera out. Um, look at the size of the moon. Hmm. It shows you sometimes how the atmosphere can actually um, amplify objects. But let's continue. This is the sun. Now, I found this picture interesting because you can actually see, even in the midst of the glow, uh, of the brightness of the luminosity of the sun and all of its brilliance, you can still see stars back here. So now we got on a... I don't know. Interesting uh, question is sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But we continue. Man, I'll tell you what. I've seen the full moon uh, closer out of my back porch, but I'd say that that's pretty good representation. Why no stars? I don't know. Okay? It is what it is. Another one. Look at the clarity and the depth. Now, this is what you would expect. Now, here's an anomaly. This was taken from the ISS, and what it is showing is an anomaly of the moon as it's setting against the Earth's atmosphere, which causes it to eventually flatten out. I know the flat earthers will have fun with that one, but figure that one out for a little bit. Let's continue. All right, there we have. We have a uh, an EVA, and there we have the sun, which I would expect the sun to look like. I think, all right, maybe it would be just a star. All right, there again is that same effect of having the moon coming up out the atmosphere and beginning to get above the projection of the ISS. But again, no stars. Um, here's the sun. What's going on here? I've got no idea. The moon. All right. Well, see, now here's something odd. This is supposed to be the sun or the sunrise. And again, the density of the star field is undeniable. It's, it's, it's there. All right. So all of these pictures are showing um, what we would expect to see and what NASA used to show. But they don't show that anymore. Uh, by the way, I thought this was really interesting. There's the ISS against the sun. 
there it was going across the moon. Looks like a UFO to me, but NASA says that is the ISS. Pretty weird, isn't it? All right, now look at here. This is an Ultra HD 4K. Check that out, folks. So, again, check out the sun. See how it looks here. Um, we get a clear view of the stars there, right? So, these are the questions I've been asking myself. Another odd picture. But I guess that's what the sun would look like, right? We've seen a lot of different variations. Again, I'm assuming that's the sun over on the left. But again, it, well, it has to be the sun, right? Because <laughs> if it's not, then we have a whole nother uh, mystery on our hands. But look over here. So whatever satellite was taking this was able to take a picture of the ISS with the sun coming up and stars. So why is it so difficult for the ISS to give us pictures at the nighttime, even in the small glimpses when they do give us pictures of space, not to have stars? I have no idea what that is. And again, that's supposed to be the ISS. So this is what we should be getting. Look at that. Is that not just spectacular? Look at this. It shows you the gold insulating foil. It's wrapped up. So when I look at these pictures, I'm going, well, that's what I expect to see. I'm going to go through here pretty quick on these because, again, look at that. There's a picture of the moon. This is NASA, folks, with the stars behind the moon. All I'm asking is why is it a problem? Why can't we seem to get normal pictures? Look at this. Is that fascinating? Explains how they get the cameras there even to look at Mars. But this is what we get, folks. All of the following pictures you're going to be seeing is what we get from NASA. This is supposedly the sun and the sunrise coming up. We get the green plasma. We get the, I don't know, the shield. We get the fantastic looking blues. This is what we get now in nighttime shots. We get these weird colors. Again, just these crazy hues. Light coming on the ISS that makes no sense because it's not lighting up the Earth. And how about this, folks? This one still blows me away. Look at this. How in the world is that normal? So... I wanted to put this out because something is not right. This very well could be what the sun actually looks like. But it is certainly not this rose colored thing we're getting. Here's another great picture, you know. I mean, why aren't we getting pictures like this? I don't understand. By the way, folks, remember when you're seeing pictures from the ISS, they're using port windows. Now, <laughs> I seriously hope that they have uh, Windex up there. Well, I don't think they can use that. So maybe they do have some way to clean those um, portals and the, um, I forget the Lexan, the type material they're using up there. But there you go. So I'm going to end this now. Uh, just something to think about. Uh, I don't believe we're getting the real picture. I don't know what pictures we're getting. And uh, if you have comments, leave them. Thank you.